What's happening guys, it's your boy TZ back with another video. So I took a tiny two week break where I'd gone off to Thailand for a couple of weeks uh, just to get a little bit of sun and some recuperation, just a much, much needed break. But we're back to business and the reason for making this video today will be in regards to the result against Southampton. So what a fantastic result, 2-0. And that will find ourselves back in fourth position. Of course, Man United drew with Liverpool and that certainly helped our cause in regards to the top four uh, challenge to end up in the Champions League at the end of the season. So that was a great result on our behalf as well as in regards to the title race, but we won't go too much into that. But let's talk about the game today. So in goal, obviously, we had Bert Lerno starting at the right back with Lich Steiner in the middle of defence. We had Mustafi as well as Socrates at left back with Nacho Monreal. In the middle of the park, we did see Shaka and Torreira starting. Up top, the attacking players were Wobi, Mkhitaryan, Ramsey as well as Lacazette. So essentially, in the first half, the game was absolutely easy for us. Um, basically, we scored two early goals, as you may all know. First goal came courtesy of Lacazette and that was it only in the sixth minute and basically from the get-go we were applying severe severe pressure on Southampton so of course we do know what the result was when we went over to St Mary's back in December and that was a 3-2 defeat of course it was a terrible terrible result so we needed to redeem and get some redemption for ourselves within this particular game and of course that came early on Lacazette got onto the score sheet and it was a fantastic little flick the ball came across the box Mkhitaryan took a massive shot and then eventually Lacazette just took a tiny little flick into the back of the net and we find our ourselves at 1-0 up. Prior to that, actually, before Southampton, uh, before we had actually scored a goal, uh, Southampton had broken through and they should have actually been 1-0 up courtesy of Nathan Redmond, bar from the fact that Bert Lerner made a fantastic save. So he did make some important saves throughout the whole game, Bert Lerner did. And if it weren't for him, we would have actually conceded maybe a couple of goals or so. The defence, the typical Arsenal thing of lapses in defence here and there. But of course, we ended up keeping a clean sheet overall. It was a decent result for the defence themselves however they did also have a second chance as well and it was courtesy from a cross from Valerie who's their right back who was giving us a hell of a lot of problems and this was before the second goal was scored but once the second goal went in for us we looked like we're in control of the game we knew what we were doing and of course that second goal came courtesy of Mkhitaryan it was a cross from Iwobi Mkhitaryan found himself in acres of space and he tucked the ball into the back of the net so of course again those two goals came very very early on throughout the whole game we were certainly bringing and taking the game to Southampton but of course Lacazette in my opinion should have scored at least three goals the other two chances I'm referring to were involving uh, Kalashnyak Kalashnyak was fantastic driving forward today every opportunity that he got he was driving forward trying to make things happen for the team but Lacazette he did miss a glorious chance, which was late in the first half. Um, personally, I would have thought you'd have tucked it away, but you win some and you lose some. And the ball just came in slightly a little bit too quick for him. The keeper was charging him down and he just stabbed at the ball with his left foot and it found itself going over the net. And the second chance again, not too long after that, came along and he should have buried that, of course. But you could see that he was absolutely distraught by the fact that he'd missed these chances. But of course, as I said, so you win some and you lose some. So we did see a cameo from Ozil Ozil who came in for Aaron Ramsey later into the game around about the 65th minute. He did make a few things happen here and there, trying to move the ball forward, etc. And we also saw Bamiyan coming on who had three good chances really in the short space of time that he was on the pitch. He replaced it. Well, we also saw Koscielny coming onto the pitch as well and that was to replace Lich Steiner. And just to talk about Lich Steiner, my main concerns really before the game was the fact that we may certainly be weak on that right hand side. Uh, of course he stood firm he did put in a couple of good crosses however I was a bit on edge when that uh, Obafemi came on however he ended up getting injured uh, early on into the second half so that wasn't much of a threat he ended up coming off but overall extremely extremely happy with the team and the performance and the result as mentioned we find ourselves back into the top four and we will certainly still push on. So we are a point clear of Man United at the moment. Of course, Chelsea are playing in the cup final. So they still have a game in hand. 
which means they could potentially move into that fourth position. However, their goal difference, we've got a slightly better goal difference than they do. So fingers crossed we can cling, hang in there really to stay into that fourth position. They are 27 games played now, so there's 11 games to play. We essentially do have an easier running than the rest of the teams around us fighting for that particular position. Just to make an additional point as well before we close off the video, I was also impressed by the game that Shaka played. Today's distribution was fantastic, as well as the fact that him and Torreira found a fantastic balance uh, between themselves within that midfield area. However, as usual, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV, and I'm out.